Today's hot take is inspired by Andre 3000. What's his real name? Benjamin, Andre Benjamin, AKA Andre 3000. And I had to switch up my music real quick. Anybody who's listening to the playback. And the hot topic, right? I saw this quote on Instagram and y'all, the reason why I started Lex chat so late today, 20 minutes late today is because I was searching for this. I made the mistake of not saving it and I could not find it. I saw it on 10 pages in over the past two, three days, could not find it. But I found it just before I started this chat. I did not want to start the chat without it, but it has a quote from Andre 3000. It says hip hop don't have no fresh energy none at all it's money driven everybody trying to make that check nobody putting art in their albums anymore andre benjamin andre 3000 i don't know when he said this but thank you so much to weekly rap gods because that's where i got this post hallelujah praise you but their caption says the absence of true artistry in modern hip-hop is concerning as it signals a detachment from the very essence of the genre Hip hop was never meant to be just another means to make money. It was meant to be a tool for change, a means to empower the disenfranchised and to speak truth to power. The lack of substance and soul in contemporary hip hop music is a reflection of a wider societal issue where the commodification of culture has led to a loss of authenticity and a focus on profit above all else. It is essential that we, as consumers of music, demand more from the artists we support and encourage them to create art that speaks to our shared humanity and the struggles we face. We agree with Andre 3000's sentiments. The question is, what are you going to do about it? Great Key says, I gotta agree, flat out agree. Let's start my timer and see if I can actually make it to five minutes it's been like 10 to 12 minutes on average so my hot take on the matter i agree with this post i agree with gray keys hip hop don't have no fresh energy none at all and i don't know if any of you have seen but i actually started a series on my youtube that i'm gonna restart for the new year called r&b girl reacts and somehow i caught the attention of nba young boy fans And that's basically all that gets requested on my channel. So four or five songs in, right? I'm starting to notice that I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling just down and not very hopeful. And in the last NBA young boy reaction that I did, I asked the question like, hey, can y'all suggest anything like happier by NBA young boy? Because this is just not it for me and this is not something that i like to subject myself to pain music has its place but everything that y'all have suggested to me everything they suggested to me has been depressing pain music and just is he a well-rounded artist can y'all give me something happier by him and all of that to say right there are i made a confession on the unpopular opinions episode that I did a couple weeks ago, right? And I told y'all that I have not been connected to music. I have been numb to it, in fact, in a lot of ways. And the reason why I've been numb and disconnected is because I don't relate to anything that's been coming out in the past five years, sadly. And um, I say that with a question mark at the end, but Anything that's come out in pretty much the last five years, it's been a slow decline the past 10 years for hip hop. But as trap music has taken over as like the new pop, um, it's just really been a downward spiral in my opinion. And as somebody who is wanting to build a healthy lifestyle, a happy lifestyle, a wealthy lifestyle, not just financially, but also mentally, emotionally, physically, just all the way around, I cannot subject myself to the type of substance that comes out from what today is being called rap and hip hop. Honestly, it needs to be called something else. I guess trap would be the word, but you know, trap kind of got rolled into hip hop and rap. In my opinion, real hip hop, like I don't even know why we don't really have hip hop right now, not in mainstream, in my opinion. We have rap, but then can you even call it rap? Because 
rap is supposed to be rhythm and poetry, right? But it's not even poetry. It's just a bunch of BS that's been put out. And the reason why I don't connect to the music is because the only thing it's been talking about has been drugs, money, women, clubs, taking somebody else's woman, taking somebody else's man, um, using a man for his money, making a relationship transactional. And I just don't want to, I don't want to subject myself to that kind of thinking. And I almost, especially living in a city like Atlanta, I almost, I almost fell to that mindset of, let me see what I can get out of people because that's really all you see around Atlanta. Nobody is really, I won't say nobody, but you'd be really hard pressed to find genuine people who just want to do the right thing and live a good life. Everybody's trying to figure out how they can be on the come up. Everybody's trying to figure out how they can get something out of the next person before they have to do anything for that person. And I think that unfortunately, I think there's agenda, an agenda behind this, but I also think unfortunately people try to try to play it off like, oh, music doesn't raise kids, but music is very much a reflection or an influence on the mindset of the community, on the mindset of whoever's listening. Just, we'll just say community, keep it simple. It's a reflection and an influence on the community. And if the music is an indication of how society and community is doing, then we're in a real bad situation. We are doing, we down real bad. Get Carisha, real bad. We're doing really bad because this kind of mindset that is put into the music is very, it's degenerate, it's degrading. And then you wonder why mental health is at an all time low because you have songs that encourage bad behavior. It encourages disconnection. It encourages women to be savages. It encourages men to not have no love for these hoes. It encourages women to use men for their money and make the relationship transactional. And as soon as you juice this man of all the money he has, leave him for the next highest bidder. And it's just a very shallow way of living. When we are, our entire being and our nature is to be social beings and connected creatures. We're not supposed to be we're not supposed to be disconnected. We're not supposed to think of each other as transactions. We're supposed to, and I don't know why we're encouraged to not be connected, unified. That's a better word. We're, we're discouraged from unification and that's really what it's all about. But I, I don't want to subject myself to that and I don't want my mind to be corrupted and The more that you feed that to yourself, you start to believe that's a reality and you start to believe that people around you think the same way. But if you just take the time to break free away from that toxic mindset, people don't live like that. And entertainment is supposed to be entertaining. I personally would like to go back to the days where artists reflected what they are actually going through. And I see um, School Money said Kendrick. Kendrick and J. Cole, probably about the only new mainstream artists who are conscious rappers and have something to say. I agree with you on that. I apologize for leaving them out. But a vast majority, a vast majority is degenerate behavior and dysfunction. And as a black woman, I'm tired of people encouraging me to want to be single and independent and a baby mama. I don't want that for myself and I don't want that for my future kids. I don't have any kids right now, but why would I want them to start at a disadvantage of a single parent household? Like marriage has become taboo and I don't, I just don't understand. I don't want to do this ish alone. Life is hard and bills are annoying and bills are getting higher. Like why would anybody want to do this alone? I don't know. But anyway, in conclusion, I agree with Andre 3000. Hip hop don't have no fresh energy. Well, I'll say whatever they plan on the radios these days. I don't call this stuff hip hop. I don't call it rap, barely. Can't understand them. They don't care about the words. They're not speaking any power. They're not speaking any any inspiration. They're speaking death. They're speaking degeneracy. They're speaking dysfunction. And I don't claim any of that. So that's my hot take on the matter. Uh, official Mr. Flat Shoals says, Big Dip has an interview recently on the same topic. It stems from Jay-Z being named the number one rapper when a lot of us believe that Dre 3000, interesting. 
Multi-man, the skip so says hip hop is and still a reflection of people behavior. Who people? I don't claim these people. What up, Jack777? Hey, totally agree with what you're saying. Thank you. Official Mr. Flat Show says, yes, Lord. So thank y'all. And uh, thank you for listening to my hot take. Multi-man, the skip so says, I wish people live conscious, but seems a majority live a savage lifestyle. And to piggyback off of last week's um, conversation on sales and marketing, people are being fed that. The marketing of these labels is really good and they have the resources and the money to consistently push these images and these lyrics and these degenerate looking people and these degenerate mindsets they have the money and the resources to push it are people really wanting to be this way or are they being influenced to be this way are they being led to believe that this is the only way they can be that would be my next question to that right so As far as sales and marketing and an agenda, I feel like there's an agenda and they are, they have successfully, they've successfully enacted their marketing strategy, whoever they are, Mm -hmm. whoever they are, okay, whoever they are. But yeah, that's my hot take on the matter. Let's get into the Lex chat, all right? This week we are talking about album rollouts or a project rollout. And um, let's talk about when me and Maurice Beats are planning, all right? So let's get into the Lex chat after these messages. 